こんにちは。英語のシャドーイング練習教室へようこそ。司会のシャドウです。ここでは役立つ英会話を練習してネイティブ英語を身につけよう。ビジネスプレゼンで使える英語フレーズを10個、10回ずつ読み上げるから、その後に声に出して10回練習しよう。それじゃあ、始めるよう。Thank you for joining us in today's meeting to discuss our company's differentiation strategy. As we navigate an increasingly competitive market, it's essential for us to identify the unique value propositions that set our products and services apart from the competition. Thank you for joining us in today's meeting to discuss our company's differentiation strategy. As we navigate an increasingly competitive market, it's essential for us to identify the unique value propositions that set our products and services apart from the competition. Thank you for joining us in today's meeting to discuss our company's differentiation strategy. As we navigate an increasingly competitive market, it's essential for us to identify the unique value propositions that set our products and services apart from the competition. Thank you for joining us in today's meeting to discuss our company's differentiation strategy. As we navigate an increasingly competitive market, it's essential for us to identify the unique value propositions that set our products and services apart from the competition. Thank you for joining us in today's meeting to discuss our company's differentiation strategy. As we navigate an increasingly competitive market, it's essential for us to identify the unique value propositions that set our products and services apart from the competition. Thank you for joining us in today's meeting to discuss our company's differentiation strategy. As we navigate an increasingly competitive market, it's essential for us to identify the unique value propositions that set our products and services apart from the competition. Thank you for joining us in today's meeting to discuss our company's differentiation strategy. As we navigate an increasingly competitive market, it's essential for us to identify the unique value propositions that set our products and services apart from the competition. Thank you for joining us in today's meeting to discuss our company's differentiation strategy. As we navigate an increasingly competitive market, it's essential for us to identify the unique value propositions that set our products and services apart from the competition. Thank you for joining us in today's meeting to discuss our company's differentiation strategy. As we navigate an increasingly competitive market, it's essential for us to identify the unique value propositions that set our products and services apart from the competition.
Thank you for joining us in today's meeting to discuss our company's differentiation strategy. As we navigate an increasingly competitive market, it's essential for us to identify the unique value propositions that set our products and services apart from the competition. Our goal is to create a strong brand identity and customer loyalty by emphasizing the aspects that make us truly distinct. Our goal is to create a strong brand identity and customer loyalty by emphasizing the aspects that make us truly distinct. Our goal is to create a strong brand identity and customer loyalty by emphasizing the aspects that make us truly distinct. Our goal is to create a strong brand identity and customer loyalty by emphasizing the aspects that make us truly distinct. Our goal is to create a strong brand identity and customer loyalty by emphasizing the aspects that make us truly distinct. Our goal is to create a strong brand identity and customer loyalty by emphasizing the aspects that make us truly distinct. Our goal is to create a strong brand identity and customer loyalty by emphasizing the aspects that make us truly distinct. Our goal is to create a strong brand identity and customer loyalty by emphasizing the aspects that make us truly distinct. Our goal is to create a strong brand identity and customer loyalty by emphasizing the aspects that make us truly distinct. Our goal is to create a strong brand identity and customer loyalty by emphasizing the aspects that make us truly distinct. To begin, let's discuss our target market and customer personas. Understanding our ideal customer's needs, preferences, and pain points is crucial in developing a differentiation strategy that resonates with them. To begin, let's discuss our target market and customer personas. Understanding our ideal customer's needs, preferences, and pain points is crucial in developing a differentiation strategy that resonates with them. To begin, let's discuss our target market and customer personas. Understanding our ideal customer's needs, preferences, and pain points is crucial in developing a differentiation strategy that resonates with them. To begin, let's discuss our target market and customer personas. Understanding our ideal customer's needs, preferences, and pain points is crucial in developing a differentiation strategy that resonates with them.
To begin, let's discuss our target market and customer personas. Understanding our ideal customer's needs, preferences, and pain points is crucial in developing a differentiation strategy that resonates with them. To begin, let's discuss our target market and customer personas. Understanding our ideal customer's needs, preferences, and pain points is crucial in developing a differentiation strategy that resonates with them. To begin, let's discuss our target market and customer personas. Understanding our ideal customer's needs, preferences, and pain points is crucial in developing a differentiation strategy that resonates with them. To begin, let's discuss our target market and customer personas. Understanding our ideal customer's needs, preferences, and pain points is crucial in developing a differentiation strategy that resonates with them. To begin, let's discuss our target market and customer personas. Understanding our ideal customer's needs, preferences, and pain points is crucial in developing a differentiation strategy that resonates with them. To begin, let's discuss our target market and customer personas. Understanding our ideal customer's needs, preferences, and pain points is crucial in developing a differentiation strategy that resonates with them. Based on our market research, we have identified the following key customer segments. By focusing on the specific needs of these groups, we can tailor our offerings and messaging to create a strong connection with our target audience. Based on our market research, we have identified the following key customer segments. By focusing on the specific needs of these groups, we can tailor our offerings and messaging to create a strong connection with our target audience. Based on our market research, we have identified the following key customer segments. By focusing on the specific needs of these groups, we can tailor our offerings and messaging to create a strong connection with our target audience. Based on our market research, we have identified the following key customer segments. By focusing on the specific needs of these groups, we can tailor our offerings and messaging to create a strong connection with our target audience. Based on our market research, we have identified the following key customer segments. By focusing on the specific needs of these groups, we can tailor our offerings and messaging to create a strong connection with our target audience.
Based on our market research, we have identified the following key customer segments. By focusing on the specific needs of these groups, we can tailor our offerings and messaging to create a strong connection with our target audience. Based on our market research, we have identified the following key customer segments. By focusing on the specific needs of these groups, we can tailor our offerings and messaging to create a strong connection with our target audience. Based on our market research, we have identified the following key customer segments. By focusing on the specific needs of these groups, we can tailor our offerings and messaging to create a strong connection with our target audience. Based on our market research, we have identified the following key customer segments. By focusing on the specific needs of these groups, we can tailor our offerings and messaging to create a strong connection with our target audience. Based on our market research, we have identified the following key customer segments. By focusing on the specific needs of these groups, we can tailor our offerings and messaging to create a strong connection with our target audience. Next, let's examine our core competencies and the unique selling points of our products and services. In order to stand out in the market, we need to highlight the aspects of our offerings that are not only superior to our competitors but also meaningful to our customers. Some of these differentiators may include Next, let's examine our core competencies and the unique selling points of our products and services. In order to stand out in the market, we need to highlight the aspects of our offerings that are not only superior to our competitors but also meaningful to our customers. Some of these differentiators may include Next, let's examine our core competencies and the unique selling points of our products and services. In order to stand out in the market, we need to highlight the aspects of our offerings that are not only superior to our competitors but also meaningful to our customers. Some of these differentiators may include Next, let's examine our core competencies and the unique selling points of our products and services. In order to stand out in the market, we need to highlight the aspects of our offerings that are not only superior to our competitors but also meaningful to our customers. Some of these differentiators may include
Next, let's examine our core competencies and the unique selling points of our products and services. In order to stand out in the market, we need to highlight the aspects of our offerings that are not only superior to our competitors but also meaningful to our customers. Some of these differentiators may include Next, let's examine our core competencies and the unique selling points of our products and services. In order to stand out in the market, we need to highlight the aspects of our offerings that are not only superior to our competitors but also meaningful to our customers. Some of these differentiators may include Next, let's examine our core competencies and the unique selling points of our products and services. In order to stand out in the market, we need to highlight the aspects of our offerings that are not only superior to our competitors but also meaningful to our customers. Some of these differentiators may include Next, let's examine our core competencies and the unique selling points of our products and services. In order to stand out in the market, we need to highlight the aspects of our offerings that are not only superior to our competitors but also meaningful to our customers. Some of these differentiators may include Next, let's examine our core competencies and the unique selling points of our products and services. In order to stand out in the market, we need to highlight the aspects of our offerings that are not only superior to our competitors but also meaningful to our customers. Some of these differentiators may include Next, let's examine our core competencies and the unique selling points of our products and services. In order to stand out in the market, we need to highlight the aspects of our offerings that are not only superior to our competitors but also meaningful to our customers. Some of these differentiators may include Now that we have identified our differentiators, it's essential to incorporate them into our marketing and sales strategies. This includes developing compelling messaging that communicates our unique value propositions and showcases our strengths. Now that we have identified our differentiators, it's essential to incorporate them into our marketing and sales strategies. This includes developing compelling messaging that communicates our unique value propositions and showcases our strengths. Now that we have identified our differentiators, 
it's essential to incorporate them into our marketing and sales strategies. This includes developing compelling messaging that communicates our unique value propositions and showcases our strengths. Now that we have identified our differentiators, it's essential to incorporate them into our marketing and sales strategies. This includes developing compelling messaging that communicates our unique value propositions and showcases our strengths. Now that we have identified our differentiators, it's essential to incorporate them into our marketing and sales strategies. This includes developing compelling messaging that communicates our unique value propositions and showcases our strengths. Now that we have identified our differentiators, it's essential to incorporate them into our marketing and sales strategies. This includes developing compelling messaging that communicates our unique value propositions and showcases our strengths. Now that we have identified our differentiators, it's essential to incorporate them into our marketing and sales strategies. This includes developing compelling messaging that communicates our unique value propositions and showcases our strengths. Now that we have identified our differentiators, it's essential to incorporate them into our marketing and sales strategies. This includes developing compelling messaging that communicates our unique value propositions and showcases our strengths. Now that we have identified our differentiators, it's essential to incorporate them into our marketing and sales strategies. This includes developing compelling messaging that communicates our unique value propositions and showcases our strengths. Now that we have identified our differentiators, it's essential to incorporate them into our marketing and sales strategies. This includes developing compelling messaging that communicates our unique value propositions and showcases our strengths. We should also consider leveraging customer testimonials, case studies, and other social proof to reinforce our differentiation claims. In addition to our external messaging, it's important for us to align our internal operations and company culture with our differentiation strategy. We should also consider leveraging customer testimonials, case studies, and other social proof to reinforce our differentiation claims. In addition to our external messaging, it's important for us to align our internal operations and company culture with our differentiation strategy.
We should also consider leveraging customer testimonials, case studies, and other social proof to reinforce our differentiation claims. In addition to our external messaging, it's important for us to align our internal operations and company culture with our differentiation strategy. We should also consider leveraging customer testimonials, case studies, and other social proof to reinforce our differentiation claims. In addition to our external messaging, it's important for us to align our internal operations and company culture with our differentiation strategy. We should also consider leveraging customer testimonials, case studies, and other social proof to reinforce our differentiation claims. In addition to our external messaging, it's important for us to align our internal operations and company culture with our differentiation strategy. We should also consider leveraging customer testimonials, case studies, and other social proof to reinforce our differentiation claims. In addition to our external messaging, it's important for us to align our internal operations and company culture with our differentiation strategy. We should also consider leveraging customer testimonials, case studies, and other social proof to reinforce our differentiation claims. In addition to our external messaging, it's important for us to align our internal operations and company culture with our differentiation strategy. We should also consider leveraging customer testimonials, case studies, and other social proof to reinforce our differentiation claims. In addition to our external messaging, it's important for us to align our internal operations and company culture with our differentiation strategy. We should also consider leveraging customer testimonials, case studies, and other social proof to reinforce our differentiation claims. In addition to our external messaging, it's important for us to align our internal operations and company culture with our differentiation strategy. We should also consider leveraging customer testimonials, case studies, and other social proof to reinforce our differentiation claims. In addition to our external messaging, it's important for us to align our internal operations and company culture with our differentiation strategy.
This means investing in employee training, fostering a culture of innovation, and continuously evaluating our processes to ensure that we maintain our competitive edge. This means investing in employee training, fostering a culture of innovation, and continuously evaluating our processes to ensure that we maintain our competitive edge. This means investing in employee training, fostering a culture of innovation, and continuously evaluating our processes to ensure that we maintain our competitive edge. This means investing in employee training, fostering a culture of innovation, and continuously evaluating our processes to ensure that we maintain our competitive edge. This means investing in employee training, fostering a culture of innovation, and continuously evaluating our processes to ensure that we maintain our competitive edge. This means investing in employee training, fostering a culture of innovation, and continuously evaluating our processes to ensure that we maintain our competitive edge. This means investing in employee training, fostering a culture of innovation, and continuously evaluating our processes to ensure that we maintain our competitive edge. This means investing in employee training, fostering a culture of innovation, and continuously evaluating our processes to ensure that we maintain our competitive edge. This means investing in employee training, fostering a culture of innovation, and continuously evaluating our processes to ensure that we maintain our competitive edge. This means investing in employee training, fostering a culture of innovation, and continuously evaluating our processes to ensure that we maintain our competitive edge. In conclusion, developing and executing a strong differentiation strategy is essential for our continued success in the marketplace. In conclusion, developing and executing a strong differentiation strategy is essential for our continued success in the marketplace. In conclusion, developing and executing a strong differentiation strategy is essential for our continued success in the marketplace. In conclusion, developing and executing a strong differentiation strategy is essential for our continued success in the marketplace. In conclusion, developing and executing a strong differentiation strategy is essential for our continued success in the marketplace.
In conclusion, developing and executing a strong differentiation strategy is essential for our continued success in the marketplace. In conclusion, developing and executing a strong differentiation strategy is essential for our continued success in the marketplace. In conclusion, developing and executing a strong differentiation strategy is essential for our continued success in the marketplace. In conclusion, developing and executing a strong differentiation strategy is essential for our continued success in the marketplace. In conclusion, developing and executing a strong differentiation strategy is essential for our continued success in the marketplace. We look forward to working together to implement these initiatives and achieve our strategic objectives. We look forward to working together to implement these initiatives and achieve our strategic objectives. We look forward to working together to implement these initiatives and achieve our strategic objectives. We look forward to working together to implement these initiatives and achieve our strategic objectives. We look forward to working together to implement these initiatives and achieve our strategic objectives. We look forward to working together to implement these initiatives and achieve our strategic objectives. We look forward to working together to implement these initiatives and achieve our strategic objectives. We look forward to working together to implement these initiatives and achieve our strategic objectives. We look forward to working together to implement these initiatives and achieve our strategic objectives. We look forward to working together to implement these initiatives and achieve our strategic objectives. お疲れ様でした。もしよかったらチャンネル登録をお願いします。それじゃ、またね。